Um, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mahabachachadash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Jeremiah 50, breakdown. And I'm going to break down in this lesson. There's so much to break down. But I'm going to stop at verse 3. And then I'll continue the X, the next part. Because I'm going to do uh, different segments as well. Because I'm doing Revelation 14. I studied both of these breakdowns. So I'm um, going to do segments of part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. So part 2 I'll do tomorrow, Lord willing. Also continuing on Revelation 14 in my previous video. So I'll stop at verse 3. Lord willing, this is edifying. This is Jeremiah 50 and 1. And it says, The word of the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldees, Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Verse 2. And it says, Declare ye among the nations and publish. So notice the Lord said uh, to publish. Right? It says, read it again, Jeremiah 50 and 2. It says, Declare ye among the nations and publish. The Lord said to publish. That word publish, it means to prepare and issue, to bring out. Okay? And it says, and conceal not, say pub it says <laughs> it says to and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Mer Merodach is broken into pieces. Merodach. Merod Merodach is pretty much referring to those idols. That's pretty much what it's referring to. And I got a precept for it in a minute. It says Merodach is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, her image are broken in pieces and a, and a precept for that would be uh isaiah oops i went to jeremiah so like yeah. isaiah um 19 and 1 this is isaiah 19 and 1 and it says the burden of egypt behold the lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into egypt and the idols of egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of egypt shall melt in the midst thereof see so it's pretty much referring to the idols okay let's go back to um jeremiah 50 and um i'll read it again let's read it again it says declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard publish and conceal not say babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Merodach is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. So again, Merodach is referring to those idols. And I'm gonna get out another precept too. Um so like your brothers, I'm going off the head. I think it's verse uh fourteen. Here it is. Okay. It's Isaiah nineteen fourteen. It says, The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. So the point was, the Lord mingled those perverse spirits in Babylon. This place is riddled with idols, Egypt idols, Roman idols, etc. So we proved the point. We proved it. So let's go back to Jeremiah 50. And we're gonna worry, we're gonna wrap it up with verse three. It says, For out of the north there came up a nation. Salakia, I read it again. Yeah. Salakia. <laughs> it's Jeremiah 50 and verse 3. It says, For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her. And what is the country? What is the what is the uh what is the nation that comes out from the north from the north? That's talking about Russia. All right. Read it again, Jeremiah 50 and 3. It says, For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. 
and both man and beast. That's pretty much talking about uh, Russia and its uh, and, uh, and, uh, and its allies, America and all of its allies, because the 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 allies is gonna um, turn against America, Salakia. So when it says both man and beast, that's talking about America and its allies. It's gonna go into a, a nuclear war, and the nation that comes from the north is talking about Russia. We're gonna prove that in Ezekiel. Um, 39 and 1 through 2. Ezekiel 39, 1 and 2. It says, Therefore thou son of man prophesy against Gog. Now that word Gog goes into the Hebrew word of Gawak, which means um, mountain. Or it can mean someone in charge. Which goes to that uh, Ezekiel 38 and 1. It says, Therefore, you know, um, so like it, just to sum it up, that word Gawak means mountain. It means it can mean an actual mountain or someone in charge. What goes to that Hebrew word, uh, Rashaya Ah Ra'ash, right? Nashaya Ah, which means, uh, which means prince, and that word Ra'ash means chief. Going into Ezekiel 38, I just want to add that in there. Ezekiel 39 and 1, it says, Therefore thou son of man prophesy against Gog, and say, Thus saith the Lord power, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince, see, chief prince. Nashaya Ah means prince. Ra'ash means chief in the Hebrew. It says the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. We know Meshach and Tubal is in the land of Turkey. So this is get this is going into Russia. Verse two, and I will turn thee back, and and leave but the sixth part of thee. Right, Russia is going to be put into divided into six parts. You're going to have one part stay at the homeland to the farther land, and you're going to have the rest of the five parts go out into the land of Jehoshaphat. That's where the major war is going to take place. It says, and I will turn thee back and leave, and leave but the sixth part of thee, and I will cause thee to come up from the north parts. See, so that's talking about Russia. And will bring thee upon the mountains of Israel, right? So this is where the major war is going to take place. So when we go back to Jeremiah 50 and 3, it says, for out of the north there cometh up a nation against her. That's talking about Russia, which shall make her land desolate. And none shall dwell therein. They shall remove. They shall depart. Both man and beast. And both man and beast is talking about America and its allies. They're going to turn against America. All right. Magog and Gog, which is coming to do that destruction, which is Russia today. All right. Which is uh, actually um, the Medio Persian Empire all over again, pretty much. So this is what is going to take place. So I'm going to wrap it up with that, beloved brothers. I'm doing two breakdowns. Um, I'm learning Revelation 14, so I'll continue with part two tomorrow, and I'll continue with part two uh, tomorrow as well with, Jer uh, with Jeremiah 50. So, hey, Lord, wellness, that's is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mahava, Chachodash. Give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, shalom.